I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm the Wooded Beardsman. And this is the Wilderness Living Challenge, Maine. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> the point of the challenge is to gain or maintain our body weight while eating nothing but wild foods for seven days. Last time we did it in Canada, this time he's come down to join me in the coastal state of Maine. Good morning. Day eight. Time to go haul our lobsters and head back for our first meal. And final way out. And uh, then uh, we'll talk about. Our final thoughts on the challenge and whether we, the sustainability of this uh, lifestyle and what we could do better and things and stuff. 4 a.m. Let's go haul some lobsters. Life now it's choosing me And how it interferes with the lives we lead And I can't read your eyes That you're sending hollow lies for free And my left brain it tells me Never again there's nothing left Good. Go home now Your skin and bones There's no way Of hiding your theft Boats everywhere We're gonna have to back it out of here You send in your problems From your stream
All right, we are back at the house. The boat is off. We're done. The video is not done, but we are done with the challenge. We've successfully lobstered the third time, caught and brought back all of our lobster. We even caught some stuff at the grocery store. We have not weighed yet out. So we're gonna take that in, check our weights on the scale, and then make our first meal out of the wild. Something very special for you. Something very special from Butcher Box. Go for it. Oh, it's the mailman. Delivery. Oh, it's my Butcher Box, it's here. My butcher box that comes every month in the mail. Let's see what's inside. What have we got this month? <laughs> A nice insulated cover that keeps your stuff cold when it arrives. And a whole bunch of yummy delicious, oh, frozen. Now tenderized meats for your eating pleasure. It's amazing. No, I'm serious. Seriously, uh, we've already opened this. Uh, we are gonna eat the Butcher Box steaks. They are grass-fed, organic, delicious steaks and meats that deliver to your door when you subscribe. Get them in the mail. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna turn it over to my Vanna White. He's gonna tell us about what is in them. I have some cheat notes because I can't remember Anything right now after the will lose. See, I can't even say it. The T we need to eat. W L C T W L C. That's easy to say. So in the first, uh, if you guys order right away, you're gonna get the ultimate barbecue bundle in the first order, which is a fifty-nine dollar value that includes two New York strip steaks, baby back ribs, and two grounds of brown, two pounds of ground beef. Beef. After uh, June tenth, you're going to get bacon for life. There you have it. All of this comes to you in the mail and I think I might have added those from the freezer from the time before. So you'll have to go on their website. Link is in the description below. Butcher Box. I've been rocked it. Rock, both of us. We're, we're just like really hungry. We just finished the Wilderness Living Challenge and so we're uh, unwinding from all that and getting these <laughs> he's like ready to chew on the package. They, uh, I've been doing this for a while, since uh, back in December. I love getting this in the mail because I'm a single dad and it shows up and I'm like, there it is. I don't have to pick through stuff at the grocery store. I know it's safe, I can trust them and I can have a good meal. As long as I remember to take it out of the freezer, you're good to go. Does it for my pockets. Then I gotta switch my boots back to my Crocs because that's what I had on the first time. Whew, my darn tough socks are awesome, but they're darn stinky now. <laughs> the scale, so you know we're all official. We can jump over here. You guys can check out the number to make sure it's all good. So 212.8 was a start. Put your guesses in now, quick, before it's too late. Drum roll! Drum roll, please. Leave those guesses in the comments. I first person really to get it. it right gets an attaboy. <laughs> an attaboy. All right. Here we go. What number is this spitting out to us? Two, 200.6. 200.6 is so going to- 12.2 pounds. 12.2 pounds. Zach, can you explain your weight loss? I, uh, <laughs> I didn't eat enough. I didn't eat enough. You burnt more calories than you- I, I burnt more you... calories doing this than I did eating. <laughs> you know, I, I found with all my weight too, I had a hard time eating um, too much. You know, right? Like I, I feel like you get hungry quicker because you're leaner, mm -hmm. and I still am not at my fighting weight. I've gained uh, a lot of my weight back since uh, the 30 Day Survival Challenge, and uh, so it's like I, I have a little bit more body weight on me, and so I eat until I feel like I'm full, and that means I lost 12 pounds doing all of this. I think it did pretty good, it considering is. the amount of hustle that you guys don't see necessarily off the camera. Yep. with the filming that's going on. It's like constant marathon. Yeah. And you guys aren't seeing that. And one catch too is that we have to do it per the laws and rules. Mm -hmm. And had oh. we had we done it per not laws and rules and just Dude. like and if it was even back in the day, 
we probably wouldn't even be able to haul those lobster traps up without two of us <laughs> yarning on the ropes. Yeah. Because it would have been full of lobsters that, you know, we had to throw back 50 lobsters every single time we hauled every traps. Every time. If we just ate those lobsters. We could have ate lobsters morning, noon, and night. And they were. And laid on our, and laid there moaning about lobster and not lost any weight. Yeah. And it was clearly enough to eat. It, yeah. It was very filling. Yeah. Okay. So right, I turn. punched in mine. Um, 147.9. Is that 147 kilograms? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're, we're going English here. Yeah, you know, if on. he wants to leave it in the, uh, I'll put it right here in, in uh, kilograms for you guys, you Canadians and other people, well, all the rest of the world that does it the right way. Let's see what you got. <laughs> all right, so I'll consider this a success if I am within like a pound or two. I think that's fair. I yeah. mean, if you lose a pound, you could have just because you had your morning constitutional. Exactly. You all know? right, so you guys ready? Camera's rolling. All right, let's jump on here and see what the scale spits out. 141.8. 6.1. That's right. Yeah. 6.1 pounds. Yeah, six. Well, yeah. So, so we both lost. Roughly a losers. Pr roughly a pound a day. Uh, but not quite a pound a day. A pound a day you will lose if you do absolutely nothing. Lay on your butt and not do anything. You'll lose a pound a day? You'll, lose, you'll still lose a pound a day if you don't consume any food and just, you just, I mean, if you have a regular activity. But we exceeded the level of activity this time by a long shot. We ran around all the time. We and, ate a lot of stuff. But and we, we made it look good because we're pretty good at doing all this and all the stuff that we did. But at the same time, like, instead of running all around from here to there and up, down, and all over the place to do this, Native Americans, you know, they would have, they'd go down to the clamming spot. <laughs> yeah. And they'd live there and do their thing. And then they'd smoke some, bring them back with them, like oysters, you yeah. know, stuff like that. They'd, they'd yeah. do the thing there and they'd do the... The most seasonal thing they would go and eat the alewives just the alewives and like smoke tons of them yeah you know and then send them up to the rest of the village or something like that so now you can eat yeah now you can eat so there's a big difference in how much food can be harvested and sustainably lived and you need all the all the seasons to be successful i think uh -huh. we proved that last season by and no laws yeah all no well yeah yeah but we proved that last season you know, so if you haven't seen that, go back, watch season four when we did it in Canada up no, at his place. Don't, don't spoil it for them. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Watch it. Yeah. Because you'll learn... prove that you need all the seasons. That's all I'm saying. But, say, you know, when you go back and watch it, you'll understand what that means. Like, you need... You can't just live off one thing, uh -huh. you know? You can't live on bananas this unless a, you're a monkey. It's a good banana. Yeah, it is, probably. But... It's really good. No, I think... I knew I was going to lose weight because I did the stomach test check. Yeah. So I pinch here and see how much fat's there, and I can actually feel it dwindling over time. Yeah. So you get like a big chunk at the start, and it just kind of slowly starts to diminish. Which is exactly why we have body fat. Mm-hmm. In case you miss calories on one day. Yeah. So obviously it's not healthy to store an excessive amount of calories because it's hard on all your organs. And I'm not saying you. I'm just saying I'm just generally <laughs> speaking... I'm not saying that. I'm not mocking anybody. I'm looking out there. at you, McDonald's three days a week guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no offense to anybody out there. No. But yeah, you can eat McDonald's all you If you, you want to like. get lean, it's not gonna help you. This is a pretty good way to do it. You're super oh, active. Man. We're learning new things, uh, learning new skills. We're out there trying. Yeah, you want to get lean? Watch uh, Jeremy there. One one wildcrafter. Shout yeah, out to him. He's, he's eating wild foods for a whole year. He's using like kind of same techniques, but he's not collecting them. Um, it's not a, a, a year-long wilderness living challenge. He's, no. He's more, he started off with three months worth of food in his freezer. Yeah. But he's losing piles of weight. What, what did he lose so far? Like 40-something pounds? Yeah, 40 pounds. 40-something pounds. In a half a, half a year. That's a lot of weight. That's a, yeah. And, and he's eating whatever he wants, whatever people collect for him. Like he's, as he's much as he can. Bit, yeah. As much as he feels comfortable. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, it. Check him out. Obviously, people did it for centuries, so... Fighting weight. Yeah. Fighting weight is the key term. So you're going to end up with a, a, a leaner person. Yeah. And you got to remember, earlier humans were shorter. You know, they're like five foot tall. Like you. Hey. That's why I'm out of frame <laughs> here. And, no. No, they were shorter. They were smaller people. I did say it the first time I saw smaller you. I was like, I thought you were taller on YouTube. It's because I film like this. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> sticks all the tall people behind him. So see, we have the exact same height. You can't even tell that he's he's taller than me. No. <laughs> Trick photography. Yeah. No. <laughs> all right. This um, is when we stand side by side here. Like. <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. Oh, I almost tripped myself. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's more. Like all right. This. So let's get on well, to like, like it's more like this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so let's get on to cooking our final meal. 
which is from Butcher Box. Butcher Box. Thank you. And the and bananas from somewhere else. Appreciate it. And uh, yeehaw. Uh, let's say Grace. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> Just because I made him go out and take cover photos and all that stuff, but. It's, yeah, yeah, I'm hungry. We're hungry. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for this wonderful adventure and all the, all the wild game you gave us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's do this. And thank you, our sponsors, like Blackout Coffee and Butcher Box. Thanks for saying so. And I don't have to say, oh my god. Uh, Can you believe that? No, you'll be, you'll be thanking them once you start cutting into this. <laughs> you just lost a tomato. That's a... Well, it's not gone forever. That's unforgivable. Yeah, no. Right? All right, well, after, considering everything we've eaten, I mean... I'm sure it's fine. We can, we can <laughs> grab that off the floor pretty easily. Caesar. Caesar's on the menu. I'm gonna grab it now, because I feel bad for losing it. It's all good. I've eaten worse. <laughs> Even on this challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about shellfish overload. I'm gonna lead with the salad, but I should probably lead with the butcher box steak. I'm I'm worried that my stomach's trunk, and so because I ate a whole head of broccoli, <laughs> that uh, if I go to eat this, then I'll be like, oh, I don't have room for the steak, and that's just not okay. All right, here we go. I'm pretending it's my first bite because I just told you it wasn't. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. All right, it's good. I did this once before with my girlfriend, and it was so good. That coffee flavor, if you've never done something like this before, that coffee flavor just, uh, just makes that steak pop. I think, I think this is a good representation of what you people at home should be thankful for. Because Us eating? No. Us making that, videos. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, that this is available to most people that are watching this video. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And you get bacon for life if you order now. <laughs> exactly. I mean, how, no, how about that? You weren't, were you talking about, no, I'm talking you weren't about, talking like, about ButcherBox, I'm talking about, I, I think the, the Wilderness Living Challenge to me represents being thankful for 
the things that we do have, even if they're just small joys. You know, if you lost your food, and that's pretty primary, and that's probably one of the last things that most people who are able to watch this video are thinking about is food. Because they probably have that. They're thinking about big things. That they want fancy cars and big houses and, you know, so, all so, these other things that don't really, don't even really matter at the end of the day. I need a napkin, not for my mouth. Look at them crying, the salad is so good. Oh, the steak's awesome too. It's yeah. per perfectly cooked. This is really tender. Yeah, we nailed those steaks, huh? 100%. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, that, um... Let me try this one. Oh, that one is so... Oh, I was gonna, like... <laughs> hold it. That doesn't like the focus on it. There we go, look at that. Oh. Juicy. What do you call them that, uh, that cook on that? The bacon wrapped uh, no, steak? No, the, the, the oh. doneness. doneness. I, I would say that that's medium rare. Not not rare. No. We, we came close, but... What were you aiming for? Rare. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go after the bacon bits. Mmm. So this would be a pretty well-rounded diet. I would add a few more carbs, but... Yeah, he, he would add carbs. I'm good with this. I got chips. That, that, uh, oh, that bacon. That bacon's from Butcher Box as well. Mm. It's really good. The whole thing's really good. Mm-hmm. I'd be really happy to get that every month. Mm-hmm. I did a, a video once before and did a bacon wrapped steak on the water wheel. It was so good. It was so good. I just took the steak and I kind of stretched it and wrapped it around the stick and then just took the bacon, stretched it and wrapped that around the stick and put it on the water wheel and it spun and cooked over the fire. It was so good. It's probably better for you than just eating the salad itself. I think there's something about the oils that helps. Also your combining body things. You know, mm. out there, unless you're super fastidious, you know, like super hard, crazy worker, like you're stuck with one thing, you know, we got one lobster. To, you know, we got we got one of each of these things to eat. Yeah. You know, we got some cattail shoots and some um, fiddleheads. You know. You definitely got to be on your game. But we don't have any oils or oil dressings or butter mm -hmm. or right the important things. Yeah, they're harder to find. Mm -hmm. Or a I mean, big fatty piece of meat. You know, that where it can render some of the fat down to fry up a fish in. Or lobster, what, just one lobster. Yeah, just, we forgot to sit to, down to and cook eat the lobsters. Oh man, <laughs> we totally forgot. Doing this whole steak up. Oh, we'll have to save it for later. Oh, I'll be having those for dinner. Mm. Anyway, I'll save that for later. But uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming along for the ride. I tell you, it was worth every minute of <laughs> having to eat this two days worth of clams. Yeah, um, just to get the salad <laughs> and the steak. All right, we didn't really talk about it, but like, which one is your favorite? The coffee crusted steak or the bacon wrapped steak? You're asking the wrong person, you wanna know why? Because you don't like coffee. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the coffee's good. I yeah. just don't like, I, I'm not a coffee drinker. Mm. I like the smell of coffee. I don't particularly enjoy the taste of coffee. Okay. But it's good. Yeah. You know? Even for, for a person who doesn't like coffee. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty good. Yeah. But if you had to choose, of course, you're going to choose oh, all the, the bacon. Yeah, I'll do it all. Mm. So, Thank you for coming down, Chris. Thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, oh, just being, you know, for having me up there so we could have an adventure. If you guys haven't seen it yet, check out Wilderness Living Challenge Season 4, the one that we did before this last October, which uh, was is right there in the playlist on my YouTube channel. And probably I'll put a link below so you can find it right from here. And of course, stay tuned for more from me. I'm going to be doing 30 Day Survival Challenge in the Rockies with Greg Ovens. That'll be the next one that comes up. It's been great having you here in Maine. I had fun. I, I can't wait to do it again. We got to do this again in like the fall or something. 100%. We got to pick a new new location maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can do it again here and well, be better at it. Because we didn't do, there's all that fall stuff. Yeah. You know, we could be doing the duck, the deer, deer turkey, bear. bear. Yeah. Or we could go to Florida. <laughs> and go swim with the alligators. You guys have to let us know. Yeah, leave in the comments below. What do you think? Where should we go next? I kind of like the idea of Florida. I do we had talked about that already. Florida in the winter. Like Florida when it's yeah. not nice here. 
Florida boar, alligator. There's beaver there too, I think. There's, I've, I've there's always, everything. I've always wanted, my, my life dream is to wrestle an alligator. Let's do it. I've always wanted to do an Let's alligator. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, man. All right, I'm out here. He's got a long drive and uh, yeehaw. Yeah. Look, look for more from the two of us, but not right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeehaw, there he goes. What an adventure, what an adventure. I do love my adventures. And so does this guy. That's why it's fun hanging out. Well, that's it for me and the Wooded Beardsman for now. Stay tuned for more. Fowler out. This season of the Wilderness Living Challenge has been brought to you in part by Bath Subaru and Woolwich, Maine. LP Aventure for making the Adventure Mobile a reality. Hidden Woodsman Backpacks, the best backpacks made on Earth of the best materials. Ayuno Survival Shovel. Gerber Knives and Multi-Tools, made right here in the U.S. Outdoor Vitals, the maker of my favorite jacket, sleeping bag, and this really cool pillow. And Hoorag, have Hoorag make you a custom company Hoorag today. <laughs> Link's in the description below.